Good day and welcome to our unboxing and um, demonstration of the Dell Latitude 5490. So as you can see, we've actually already unboxed it. Um, so um, what we're going to do is explain what was in it, which is basically nothing. So it's just the uh, standard safety uh, documentation, the unit itself, and a Dell uh, AC adapter, including in my case, a Europe uh, North American plug. So uh, nothing particularly exciting here. Uh, something to, to note is that the old school uh, bricks, power bricks from Dell, still function just fine. So if you have a hundred of these lying around from your old latitudes, they still function. Uh, the unit does not bark when you try to power it up. This uh, one that I've ordered is a little bit different uh, than some in that it has a backlit keyboard and a touch screen, which makes the screen a little bit thicker than what some of you may be familiar with, but uh, it's still very, very nice. I wouldn't have a unit without it these days. Um, uh, let's uh, get to the uh, the edges. So I've already pulled the back off of this thing. So let's just show you uh, how I did that. It's a whopping eight screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And um, the pry point is right here, although I had great difficulty getting it out. So what I ended up doing was uh, taking a, after I'd unscrewed this, I took a uh, needle nose and I pulled it out and then I was able to pop it out. Um, this is quite difficult to get off. This is a standard magnesium, I think it's magnesium anyway, uh, Dell back, nothing exciting or particularly new here. Um, in the unit, we have um, Dell battery. Uh, battery is easy to change, pull the tape off, pull the connector off, you're there. I ordered this particular unit with uh, one piece of memory, not two, because I want to be able to add memory in the future. And that gets to a good point, by the way. These come in a lot of different varieties. So uh, we're not going to go into the, um, well, there's this option, that option. This is what I ordered. And the, the idea here is to see what the core, the, the core infrastructure of this thing is and not to get into um, uh, too far into the weeds about, well, the i5 versus the i7 or things like that. So let's keep going. Uh, CPU, actually the CPU fan, the CPU is underneath it. Um, uh, this is a, a standard crappy spinning disc, which um, I don't have much love for, and I have no intention of keeping. Um, what I'd originally purchased was, uh, what I originally wanted was to have a caching disc right here. Dell tells you that that can't be done. I was really sure they were wrong because this is a standard um, uh, M2 uh, connector. It's a B, uh, B plus, well, it's a B plus M uh, keyed uh, chip is what I was able to put in. Um, however, this is on the PCI Express bus. On the Dell 5480, the previous model, this was on the parallel bus. Uh, sorry, on the, um, <laughs> no longer parallel, on the SATA bus. And um, so because they were both on the same bus, I was able to use this as a RAID, use the Intel rapid storage technology to use this as a um, um, caching uh, SSD, which made an enormous difference. That is no longer possible with this unit. So, and that's because that is on the PCI Express bus, which is really a good thing. Uh, but it's a little frustrating that we can't do the caching disk. So there are four screws here. One, two, three, four. Um, I've already pulled those out. And um, standard SATA connector here. Um, I can put in a regular SSD if I wish, you know, standard SATA SSD. I can put in a larger uh, drive, whichever. Uh, this is an M2 slot also on the PCI Express bus. And I could and will, in fact, uh, probably put in this 512 uh, gig stick. Uh, just a note uh, that uh, if you order with a spinning disk like I did, because Dell's prices for SSDs are insanely stupid, uh, and it does not void, void your warranty as far as I know uh, to swap these parts out, uh, I've done it for years. Um, uh, buy this, buy the standard, take it, turn it into an external or scrap it, whatever you want to do with it. Buy this separately. Th this one I purchased is a um, uh, uh, Western Digital Black PCI Express, very highly rated, uh, NVMe, uh, just great little disc. I've already benchmarked it. It's smoking fast. Um, the thing that's missing, however, if you're ordering this, is um, a, I think it's a 70 cent piece. So you pop this in, and there's a clip that's missing right here. So you have to get a hold of your Dell rep and say, hey, I want the clip for this. I want to buy this uh, crappy spinning disc, uh, which I'm then going to throw out or turn into an external. Uh, but I also want the uh, mounting bracket for this. The mounting bracket spec I will put up uh, in the video so you'll see it. Um, but to get a hold of your Dell rep. Okay, so I'll pull that out because we don't need it now. Um, this is your wireless network card. Uh, there are various ports around the outside here. The one that's really interesting, however, is this one. This is a SIM card uh, slot, SIM card holder. 
and what you use. Well, we'll get to how you pull it out in a second, but uh, when we go around the outside. But for now, just know that that's a SIM card holder. If you pop a SIM in there and you were to buy the uh, WAN um, uh, card, you would be able to, anybody's WAN card, it doesn't have to be, um, doesn't have to be one from Dell, uh, that would uh, let you run this on broadband, uh, on cellular, I should say. So this could run, uh, be connected to the internet pretty much all of the time. This is your battery for the uh, BIOS. Um, these are the speakers. They just pull out, uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to do that because they're a pain to put back in, but it's not very hard. If I were to pull this battery out, and this is important to know, there are ribbon connectors underneath this. I'm not going to pull it out because I don't want to, um, uh, not for the purpose of this video. And uh, underneath here are a number of ribbons. Uh, pop those ribbons off, uh, and then you'll be able to pull a keyboard off if you need to do that. So I'll just show that to you. Um, you probably won't have to do it, but in case you do, let's spend 10 seconds and show it. So when you open this unit up, you'll see at the back here of the keyboard, there are two pry points. So you take something flat, pop it in very carefully. Uh, then this grid, this grill comes out. The keyboard will be exposed. If you disconnect the ribbons at the bottom and you undo the screws, the keyboard will uh, simply uh, will, will, be, will pop out. Okay, so let's go around the outside. Uh, when I bought this, I noticed there was a white cable. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but it was actually a bit exposed, which was not I was not happy with. So I'm going to tuck that back in. Uh, going around here, I have a headphone jack, USB 3, uh, super speed, whatever you want to call it, um, uh, USB port. Uh, that is a uh, VGA connector, Kensington lock, uh, gig ethernet. That is where the SIM card holder goes. That's your SIM tray. And what you want to use to get it out is a paper clip or, um, you know, if you have a SIM card remover, you just pop that in and this tray will come out. Now, I found, by the way, when I was playing with it, that I bent the mechanism because the mechanism is really crap. So uh, you may have to go in and straighten the mechanism out from underneath if you can't get that open. It's quite difficult to get out. Uh, sorry, quite difficult to get out. That is an HDMI 1.4, um, and that is another Super Speed 3 a USB um, connector. That is uh, your power uh, head. That is a USB Type C connector. It is not Thunderbolt, which is super disappointing for me. Uh, but that's pretty much what, what you use now for the dock. That'll push out DisplayPort. It'll push out all of the fun stuff you care about. That is another USB 3 connector and that uh, USB 3 super speed. So basically all of these uh, are super speed. One of them is a charging port, by the way. I don't know which one. And that is an SD card uh, block. Or actually, I've just pulled out to get rid of it. Okay, so uh, another video we're going to do is going to be benchmarking that crappy spinning disk, a solid state disk, a standard SATA connector, the lovely and talented uh, Western Digital 2280 uh, NVMe uh, PCI Express connected uh, SSD, and as, uh, as well as that little uh, 30, uh, the little uh, 2242, uh, which I expect to have exactly the same performance or close enough. Uh, anyway, if you have any other questions uh, and you can't get it from that other video where you see the benchmarking, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.